Oh, oh that's scary. Oh, oh my gosh. She's, uh, she's coming out. Oh, oh my gosh, that freaked me out. Kicked out of ACDC. <laughs> Yesterday I showed you guys that I bought those uh, brand new Yeezys that just came out and it started to feel to me a little bit like I don't want you guys to get the impression that I just blow money all the time that somehow I'm rolling in the dough and I just uh, am a, some kind of a big baller. And what I basically mean about that is that sometimes it's okay to spoil yourself. You know you really shouldn't feel guilty about splurging every now and then. If you work really, really hard, you deserve the reward every now and then, right? And I'm not saying going out and blowing your money on stupid things all the time, but it's kind of like even fitness, you know? You want to eat really good and clean and healthy, but every once in a while, you just want to stuff your face with pizza. And there's nothing wrong with doing that as long as you don't make it a habit. So the fact is, is that yes, I love sneakers and I like to buy sneakers every now and then, but I'm not going out and just frivolously spending my money on things and being irresponsible. And you shouldn't feel bad about it. If you see something that you really like and you can afford it, but maybe you think, ah, oh, maybe I should save the money or something. If it's gonna make you really feel good, and keep you motivated for the future, every now and then, give yourself permission to just kind of indulge in things that are gonna make you feel good about yourself. I literally cannot see a thing. You can see like right now, I literally, the only thing I can see down here is through this viewfinder right here. Other than that, completely dark. Let me show you what I'm, I can see right now. I'll turn the infrared off. That is what I see. So let's go wander around, see what these snakes are doing when there's no lights on, huh? Let's go see if we can find RJ, what he's doing over here. And again, just keep in mind that this happens from time to time. When I'm down here, all of a sudden the lights go out, boom, and I am just completely in the dark. And it can get pretty spooky. Well, it's just dark. I can't see anything in that thing at all. Of course, this is Satan right here. Want to take a look at it real quick? Oh, this is scary. Oh. I can't even believe I'm gonna do this. Oh, let's see. Where is she? Oh, there she comes. Oh, get it closed quick. Oh, oh that's scary. Oh, oh my gosh. She's, uh, she's coming out. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, that was weird. <laughs> so now I'm kind of walking down one of the aisleways and uh, we'll look at a couple ball pythons really quick. And then I might actually get the lights on because I told you that Satan thing freaked me out. But you know what? I'm going to turn on the light real quick with my phone and just shine over at this guy here. There's RJ. Hey, RJ. Okay. There we go. Back in the dark. At least I can usually trust ball pythons a little bit. Pastel G stripe in the back here. This is a girl that actually laid eggs just recently. And, um, she, uh, her eggs are actually due to hatch here in a few weeks, so. See here, here's an actual G-stripe. Oh, look at that guy right there. 
What a pretty snake, huh? It's really gorgeous, but again, <laughs> definitely different without lights. So I'll be honest with you guys. I'm not even going to lie to you. I'm not even sure why I would do something like this. I just thought it was a good idea to kind of show you guys how freaky it was. And that Satan thing, that was weird, man. I did not plan that one. And I'm in, I'm at the building all alone right now. So that was probably irresponsible of me because if something did happen, I'm downstairs in the dark. There's no one here to help me. Oh, that was not a good move. That is like against everything that I would normally do. But uh, regardless, I'm going to go ahead get the lights back on in here so I can see and get back to work and stop screwing around. All right, guys, so that was pretty freaky, but I'm gonna make sure Satan's uh, cage is shut the right way, and then I've gotta get to work. I've got a lot of work to do today, and I'm the only one here, so uh, no more screwing around, all right? No more screwing around. Now guys, back to what I was saying earlier about like splurging on yourself, finding happiness, so on like that. I mean, I think that's what it's all about. And that's always the message that I'm trying to kind of preach to people. You know, I'll be honest with you. A lot of the things I do in life are pretty stressful. I have a lot of things to worry about. I got crew, I got animals, I got business, I've got customers, I got all these types of things. The fact is, is that even with all of that insanity, I'm always trying to find ways to be happy. And that doesn't mean that you have to be happy from the moment you wake up in the morning till the time you go to that's not going to happen that's not reality but try to find little pieces of happiness throughout the day that means spoiling yourself with like an extra meal that you wouldn't normally eat or buying yourself something really nice that makes you feel good about yourself sometimes you just got to find it and and not worry so much about the things or what people think about what you're doing because the truth is you're the only one that really matters and the people around you that care about you only matter so just think about that Now, in reality, guys, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that you are supposed to only worry about happiness and sacrifice everyone else around you. Always think of other people around you, too. If your happiness causes other people sadness, then in actuality, that shouldn't cause you happiness, right? Just think about it. I'm going this way. So what is it, guys? What is it that you think would make you happy? You know, it doesn't have to be something big, sometimes just a little thing. Go ahead and comment down below. I love reading your comments about things that I'm interested in, and I am interested in hearing what makes you happy. And one of the things that makes me happy is being around animals, obviously, and producing snakes. And a few weeks ago, I said, we have our last ball python clutch of the year, so I'm going to go ahead and pull it. Well, guess what? We have another ball python clutch. So I think this one is truly the last clutch of the year. This girl is actually a Cinepin that is a probable Enchi bred to a banana Enchi. So that should be pretty cool. At very least, we're going to have a Cinepin banana potential and possibly even super Enchi Cinepins, which would be really cool. So let's go ahead and uh, pull this clutch and... Uh, this is the t type of stuff that makes me happy right here. You know, I'm not gonna lie to you. Sometimes the snake business bums me out a little bit, the way we conduct ourselves and the way we treat each other as a business. Uh, but the animals always bring it back around for me. So when I get kind of down on the business itself and I look at the way we attack each other, and in particular me, <laughs> me sometimes, uh, it bums me out. But then I think, you know what? This is what matters. This is what drives my passion for this stuff. So uh, I rise above it and again, find moments of happiness with a beautiful clutch of eggs like that. I just went through the colubrid eggs. We're still hatching and we still have um, a bunch more eggs really to hatch. We are done laying now, but we did have a handful of things hatch out. I just want to show you guys, um, you know, just a bunch of really cool little baby snakes. So let's take a look real quick, all right? Look at this. We have some scaleless Texas rat snakes and we have some corn snakes. Here's a little hypo corn snake here. And these of course are the scaleless Texas rats. So a uh, nice clutch and scaleless Texas rats are really variable. So they can be really, really cool. Uh, let's see here, we have some, oh, these are little ghost emery rats. Uh, and actually it might even be, yeah, these are het for albino. So it's basically like a, a pattern and color you know, mutation with these guys. You can see this little guy over here. Uh, and then these, of course, are California Kings here. These are aberrant California Kings. So um, 
uh, a bunch of apricot Pueblin milk snakes over here and then it looks like we have a couple you know just like normal milk snakes over here but uh these guys are really cool oh look at that little monkey so yeah these guys are good Pueblins are just really good for a starter milk snake they're probably one of the coolest of the starter milk snakes looks like we have just some more Pueblins, but wow there's a couple pretty ones look at how pretty these guys are here that's really neat and then these are kind of that like more dark phase uh Pueblins that are getting out in you know close to like the orioles look at how fast they move oh my gosh Try to get this back on her. I'm going to never, <laughs> they're going to be all over the place. Let's see what we have here. Oh, these are some Mexican black kings right here. Uh, so these are all the Mexican black kings. And again, more problems, apricots and normals. Uh, but yeah, they look good, huh? And then, of course, oh, look at these. These are a bunch of albino Nelson's milk snakes here. Really pretty ones, too. Look at the nice banding on these guys. Really beautiful snakes. So yeah, so the next step with these guys is obviously I've got to get them over and get them set up into baby tubs and then uh, Probably in about a week or so these guys will eat but we're still you know almost every day We're still hatching something uh, and we'll probably be done hatching. You know, it's probably not long now Maybe a few weeks we'll be done. We might have a couple straggler clutches We always get some really late second clutches But for the most part we should be done in about three weeks or so and then everything's on the shelf Which is nice and we can really just work on you know taking care of it make sure it gets ready so that uh, when you guys out there that want a cool pet snake you can get a good healthy animal hopefully so uh we'll get these guys set up and i have to check a few more snakes real quick you know what i forgot to check this one clutch of hog nose really quick uh and i reached up here and, and i was checking these eggs over i was checking these eggs over here and i forgot look at you can see there's little babies up there see them see them right there so these guys obviously hatch so let's pull these guys down so, oh, look at there. We got a little pastel pink albino right there. So we got this little pastel pink albino and then just a whole bunch of other normal hog nose over here. Now that is just adorable, isn't it? You know, thinking about the happiness thing, you know, there's always so many things around me and I could never sum them up in one video to be totally honest with you. Obviously, I'm very happy with uh, wildlife and adventure. Uh, you know, I'm really happy with being around my family and close friends too, you know. It's something that I didn't do a lot of a while ago because I was so busy and now I'm making a priority to make sure that I'm spending time with the people that really matter in my life, which is my closest friends, the people that care about me, and my family. You know, that makes sense. You know, the other thing that makes me really happy is you guys, you know, you guys support me so much. You're so good to me. You know, don't think that your comments and your, your likes and your subscribe, you know, you subscribing to my channel and, and following me on all my social media, that means a ton to me, guys. You guys matter to me. We're in this together and, and without you, I can't do the things I'm doing. So you guys make me happy.